So occasionally, we'll get offers from other companies that want us to assess their product and let them know and let you guys know what we think of them. Mm -hmm. And one of the companies that recently set us some lids for canning is the Four Jars Jar Company. Exactly. Jar They've actually sent us quite a little package here mm -hmm. to test today. So what we're going to do is we're going to test their lids against some others here. So we have... Um, 12 regular lids and rings. Now these videos are already up on our website testing them. We tested applesauce with right. those ones. Mm -hmm. um, we have 100 regular mouth just lids. And I love that you can buy from this company in bulk. And when we price their, their products, it seems as if we can really get a good cost savings with them when you buy in bulk. That, that's the best way to do it. I mean, yeah. honestly, it makes sense. They're saving money on packaging, and so that saves you money in the long run. Mm -hmm. Then we have the wide mouth lids and rings and 100 wide mouth lids. Of the lids, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they sent a cute little sticker, you know, mm -hmm. if you want to put... Put and it on a something. Towel too. Yeah, a nice you know, towel. It's cute. And a happy canning that gives their social media contacts. So let's do a little, let's just pull out some stuff here and okay. do some little bits of comparison. So, what we have today are, are ball lids, care lids, har uh, golden harvest lids. The mainstay, which if you're not sure what these are, these are the Walmart brand of lids. And then we have four jars. So all of these you can just pick up at the local grocery store. And these ones you need to order. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out at least one of each of these so mm -hmm. we can compare them. We're going to do um, a pressure canning video today where we actually pressure can with one of every lid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do great northern beans. I have this recipe that I love to do, uh, white bean chicken chili, and it uses the great northern beans. So Perfect. I thought we'd do those. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I guess I could be opening this one. All right. I'm gonna actually move these. So that's our harvest. So that we can just compare them. So let's start by talking about the thickness of the metal based on just feel. Now we're not going, right. this is right. no scientific. We haven't looked up mm -hmm. the thicknesses. We're just going on the feel of these in our hands. So now when I feel these, the ball, the care, and the four jars feel about the same. Mm -hmm. The Golden Harvest and the Mainstays also feel about the same thickness as each other, but thinner than those yeah. two. With three. the Than those three, yeah. With the Mainstay feeling more pliable and the Golden Harvest firmer. Firmer, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think the same thing. Now, as far as the buttons go, I thought the buttons on all four of the Care, the Mainstay, the Ball, and the Four Jars is really a good pop to it. The Golden Harvest... If I use fingers on both sides, it doesn't seem to be as flexible unless I use just one finger on one side. So, which matches And that's matches probably because it's more it's, domed. Right, you and know. it matches the fact of what you just said. It seems like a firmer Yeah, firmer yeah, no, metal. that makes sense. Um, now the seals, let's talk about seals. So the seals, it seems like some of them are made out of a slightly different material. Right. The, uh, the mainstays and the ball seem like they're a really thick rubbery mm -hmm. you know edge they have a lot of push to them they do have a lot of push and to you them. can you can see the indentation uh -huh. of fingernails and stuff in them the golden harvest to me feels more painted on like mm -hmm. it there's not much there very thin uh-huh and then the care and the four jars feel about the same where mm -hmm. it's not as thick feeling as those two but it seems like it's a different material because it's still kind of you can feel the bounce to it mm -hmm. but it bounces back really quickly as opposed to these leaving a mark for right. longer right and those are about the same which is kind of interesting because when I looked on the packaging ball and care used the same um, manufacturer right. for their lids and so it, it, that's kind of interesting, it is interesting to, that they're different to me that they're different mm -hmm. or at least they appear different to us right um, now let's talk about the edges okay so 
four jars appears to have the largest curve over the edge, which mm -hmm. actually gives it that, t I mean, it's not necessarily sharper. Like last week when right? we did the videos, we thought perhaps it was, but when we get them all laid out here, they're all about the same sharpness. But what that pretty edge does, what I noticed when I went to open it, it you have the possibility of curving it in a little bending more, it, yeah. bending it in when you're opening your jars versus, you know, if I was just haphazardly trying to open it, um, I don't know that it would have made as big of a difference, but I like to use a spoon and mm -hmm. not um, mess up the top so I can not use them with it. dry goods yeah, and stuff yeah. and not damage it. And it, it did, I did bend it in, even right. though I don't usually when I open my jars. Yeah, I think I think ball and care are probably the best that way about not curving over so much. But mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I've canned with all of these and yeah. and they seal really Every well. Every one of them seals. Uh -huh. So we're not we're not worried about that aspect of it. This comparison is mostly just more of that visual and tactile mm -hmm. comparison because we've canned with all of them and they all seal good and they have a good pop when you open them. When I open the four jars. Um, the, the apples that we canned uh -huh. with them already, it had a nice pop to it, just like the other lids. And then with the four jars, we haven't done pressure canning yet, so that's what right. we're gonna do today for our comparison. Yeah, so. so let's get started. Once you have your jar filled with the hot water, you'll just need to add your lid and ring. Making sure if you got anything on the seal, this one's pretty easy. <laughs> that we're not getting anything on there, but you'd want to wipe that down. We have two more here. Doing the beans is one of my favorites because they're so easy. So easy. Yeah, I just do, I usually do like 48 in one day. I'll mm -hmm. get multiple canners going. Yes. You know. Well, and a lot of people think, oh, but beans are easy. You just soak them and cook them. But I always forget to prep them. Right. And my kids love to eat beans. Almost uh -huh. as, love, as much as they love spaghetti. Oh, it's good. just beans and rice is a go-to. Sure. But if I don't have beans cooked up, I will forget and I'll be promising them for like a week. Oh, yeah. sure, I'll make them, I'll make them, I'll make them. And I just never get around to it. Yeah, you know, for me, it's the convenience. I, I like my day is so regimented. I've got so much going on mm -hmm. with seven kids and a little farm and all kinds of stuff yep. going on with our business and yep. you know, the, and just family stuff in general. Right. I mean, right. everybody's lives are busy. Uh -huh. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. Your your life it's is true. busy. You fill it up. Yep. So for me, it's just fabulous to have it done already. Plus, we have some older beans and um. I found that once they get past 10 years old, then, uh, I mean, they're still good, but they take right. forever to get soft. Right. So. And pressure canning them really speeds up that process mm -hmm. and just makes them really good. No, they're perfect yeah. every time now. I used to, like, skip doing any beans because I couldn't get them mm -hmm. the right texture, but yeah. now I love it. Perfect. Well, let's put these in our pressure canner. We've already put our three quarts of water in the bottom of our pressure canner. Now, if you need a reminder on how to use a pressure canner, go ahead and take a look at our canning basics videos. Uh, we're going to cook these for 90 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure if you're at sea level. Now, if you're at a higher elevation like we are, we're at 1,200 feet, we're going to actually go at 11 pounds of pressure. And if you have any questions about how to adjust for your altitude, go ahead and take a look at those canning basics videos as well. Oh, the beans come out. They really do look perfect. Look at this. Yes, We've got great. the amount of beans. We still have juice in there, so uh -huh. we know they're not cemented. You have a little bit of movement. Now, as it cools, they'll solidify in there a little more, but really? at least you didn't run it out of water. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's worked perfectly for me. I've been doing this for years. Oh, yeah, you're a pro at beans. We both have done beans for a lot of years. <laughs> right, right. And our mothers and grandmothers canned beans. And so this is one that we are experienced at. <laughs> well, now, for years, I didn't know about it. And I wasn't very good with it. But oh, 
time to walk the dog, my watch is telling me to have. <laughs> Kids will have to do it today. <laughs> I guess Filming so. day. We don't get out and do those regular <laughs> weekly <laughs> activities. You now know what Marie does every day at 1130. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Anyways, these beans just look great. We pulled the beans out of the pressure canner and we are now going to inspect all these lids. Now remember, we use three lids from four jars. We have a ball lid, a care lid, we have a mainstay lid, as well as a golden harvest. Now we don't know which is which right here on the mainstay and golden harvest. I'm going to guess this was mainstay labeled. was a mm -hmm. little bit lighter of a gold. I think so. And golden harvest was a little bit golder. Right. So for purposes of this, because they don't have an identifying top, we're going to say this one was mainstay and this one was golden harvest based on the levels of gold. So, what do you want to say, Marie? It looks like every one of them sealed. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. We just pulled these out of the of the pressure canner, and they've already all sealed. So, mm -hmm. I mean, really, when it comes down to it, you're thinking, okay, yeah. these these are all decent options for us. Mm -hmm. um, now, so, we still have to remove the rings right. and clean them, which we, we always do that 24 hours later. You guys don't see that mm -hmm. on the videos uh, because we don't come back and film a whole nother day right, of right. prepping them. But we, if they seal like this, we never have any troubles with them when we mm -hmm. pull off our rings. At least I haven't. No, I haven't either. Yeah. So, I mean, really, I would say take a, take a look at your lids. See how they work for you. As long as you do a good canning process, I've found that the majority of lids out there are going to work well. Right. You know? Right. Um, now, then it just, it really, it's going to come down to price for you mm -hmm. and personal preference. Right. Now, the four jars lids we have found, when you buy them in bulk, have a very mm -hmm. competitive price and, in fact, are four to six cents per lid cheaper than right. the other lids just bought off the shelf at the grocery store mm -hmm. um, when you buy them in bulk, which, in this case, we have them um, in 100, 100 per package, which right. is the bulk uh, size of them. In the description below, you're going to find a link that takes you to four jars uh, website for purchasing. It's an affiliate link, so we do receive a little bit from them. But as well as that, there is a code, WISDOM10. If you put that in at the website, you'll get a discount on your purchase from right. them. And they were already a decent price. So right. go ahead and throw that in, and that'll get you an even better deal. Exactly. So um, overall, this company as a whole seems to be a pretty decent company from what we've been reading online. Um, they claim that they're a high energy company. Now for us, what we have seen that in is their marketing strategy. Right, right. And they're reaching out, contacting people, not just us, we've seen other mm -hmm. canners reviewing these lids. They've done um, a pretty good job of getting the word out as far um, as that goes. Other things about them is they really want to focus, from what we can tell on their website, on encouraging people to can, encouraging people right. to create Which their is, own food. And that's the exact same thing that that we're doing. You mm -hmm. know, that's part of our mission statement per se is that is that we want people to be able to preserve their own food, have healthy food on the table every day for their families. Right. Know what's in your food. Mm -hmm. And the final element that we were really impressed with is safe canning practices. You know, they really want people to not only have those yummy things, but to make sure that they're preserving them properly, which is not only using the safety of knowing what's in your food, but having the safe canning procedures. Yeah, canning processes. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Exactly. So overall, Marie and I have been impressed with these. And I have to say, I really like their logo. So I'm a, right. I'm a techie geek. I do, I do design. Uh -huh. I design my own book right. covers. I design stuff. And when I saw this logo, I told Marie, I'm like, it's cute. Right. And I'm, I know that's not anything about the lids per se, but you know, uh -huh. and visually, I like how, you know, the S comes around and creates the jar right here in this. And so you can see that really close up. Plus you've got the logo right here on the corner of our video to see it. Um, just overall, they have a professional looking website, a professional product, and we're pleased with it. Mm -hmm.